All right, so the other day I went to drain the water out of this, my dad's old big air compressor, and the petcock valve just twisted right off. Look at there, bang. Now I was gonna go get a new one, and I thought, I bet that little tank that my neighbor gave me, that little old air compressor has one on it. Well, look at there, it sure does. So I'm gonna slip this one out of this hole, and put it in that hole over there. I'm also gonna put some alcohol in that tank. Let me uh, get me a wrench, I'll do one thing at a time. And uh, go from there. I'm just going to pop this valve out first. Watch if you'll, if you'll sit up there and behave and not fall off, no? Oh, by the way, this is a little alcohol I got right here. My wife gave me that little container to put some in. So that's just plain old rubbing alcohol. Back in the day when we drove truck, airlines would freeze. We used to take and put alcohol in the airlines to keep them from freezing. It's the same concept of what, what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to put a layer. I, I got that tank drained out, and I'm going to put some alcohol in the tank itself, and I'll probably try to get some down in the in the air lines too. You get the uh, you get air, you get water in those lines, and especially if you're doing like a a, a, a plasma burner, plasma cutter, man, that'll mess one up. You get water in the lines. It, that don't work well at all. So, so here's my tank and a little hole for that. Let's see if there's any more water going to come out of that. Give it a last little tip and drain there. I heated this thing up today to how to make sure I could get everything that was in there out of there. And you should be able to just ease this into here. I'll get my wrench and we'll tighten that a bit. I'm working this by feel. I don't want to get down in the dirty. That's good enough. See, I can well, I don't tighten that too tight. I can twist that and open it right up. This is what I want to be able to do. Now the next thing I'm gonna do. It has a fitting right here. I'm gonna pop this fitting out and squirt alcohol in that hole. And then I'm gonna squirt some in the uh, airline itself. Guess you could say I'm turning my dad's air compressor into an alcoholic. Ooh -wee. It's on there good and snug. There it is. I might need to apply a little bit of force to that. I'm just going to take a little alcohol bottle and squirt some right in there. I think I can do that. Oh yeah. Pretty good shot. I'm going to put that back on. I'm going to put a little, a little Teflon tape on that too. You know, like I always wrap this stuff backwards, even when I'm trying not to. I don't know if the rest of y'all ever have that problem. If you wrap your Teflon tape the wrong way, it just comes off when you turn it instead of going in the grooves. This is what you want it to do. I don't know if that needed to be that tight or not. Just tighten it up there. And then I'll. Uh, Take the rest of this and I'll just dribble it down into the hose itself. And then I'm just going to slide her back over into place here. She should be good to go for our next time I need her. Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, I'm glad I had a warm day to get a few things done today. That was perfect. Uh, today's a good football game day, and going to the finals, the Patriots won last night, we watched that game, we watched the other game, the Seahawks, that was pretty good too. So we're going to watch more football today, uh, I'm glad I had this warm day to catch up on a few warm weather things. My garage is kind of a mess, but I'm going to leave it that way, I'm okay with it, and uh, 
I guess I'll go in and stay warm the rest of the day, and uh, I'll talk to you all next time I have a day off.